Alright, so this time I'm going to be playing a Let's Play of Quest 64. Yes, this is technically my first Let's Play. I've sort of done Let's Play before, although it's not really necessary to play a uh, Let's Play because, well, frankly I haven't uh, really played it all the way through. But anyway, so yeah, Quest 64. Pretty good game, I like it. More for kids, but also kids that kids at heart. Okay, uh, Ryan, even though I've begged you not to leave, you still say you must go after your father. No matter how wonderful your powers may be, you are still a child. Your father, Lord Bartholomew, yeah, anyways, um, basically, Ryan is the one there with the, the, uh, cloak or whatever, and the staff and he has magic power and he wants to go after his dad. His dad left to take care of evil or something and has disappeared or something. Anyways, um, so yeah. Brian, the child, is going to go save his dad, basically. That's what his quest is. Um, yes, th there's quite a bit of running here at the first part, but whatever. It helps build up some agility uh, experience for agility, which I'll get to in a little bit. And see all these doors? Yeah, there's like nothing in them. At all. Just the room. They have a lot of those in this. That door, and that door, that door, that door, that door, and that door. Nothing. Now we can go into this one, it goes to a courtyard here. And there's a chest. Um, fail one. Okay, there we go. Um, a dewdrop. That will increase Brian's MP, or magic power, by 10. And there's another chest there behind the stairwell. Another dewdrop. And one more chest right here with another dewdrop. Yes, I will actually be using these later on in the game. Um, not too distant. But, anyways. So let's go just, let's go back in here and, uh, take a right through this door here and then across the hall from that door is this door and now uh, we want to talk to this guy which uh, I learned from uh, Let's Player McGamer hold on McGamer Mc yeah McGamer like M-C-G-A-M-M-A-R he's a pretty cool Let's Player and, uh, yeah, so you talked to that guy, he gave you fresh bread, and the chest was, uh, uh, honey bread. Both of those increase HP. Uh, hold on, let's, uh, look at the, uh, yeah, this place is just the big emptiness. It's like a church or whatever. Um, yeah. Hey, and, hey, look at this door. I don't remember. Oh, oh, wait, wait, never, never mind. I remember this room, yeah, um forget it there's nothing here and the reason why I'm not really talking to anybody is nobody really has anything to say um yeah there's nothing really back here either I just I'm gonna run gain some experience for uh, agility yes just running on, uh, on in the overworld or whatever you want to call this gives you experience for agility for how fast you can move as you'll see later anyways uh, about the gamer uh, McGammer, Mick Gammer, yes, uh, he's a cool Let's Player, you should check his, uh, stuff out, this is, uh, he's the, uh, Let's Player I watched this game on, and it was pretty interesting, and, whoa, what, oh, wow, you can talk to the horse and it just says nay, amazing, um, yeah, anyways, uh, here, this purple thing here, that you see, like that, like a bubble that keeps coming up that's called a spirit and when you use a spirit you can use it on an element whether it be fire earth water or wind fire being red earth being brown water being blue and wind being green I used it on earth because uh, I uh, I like the earth water build on uh, the elements because it makes the game a whole lot easier and yeah by the way uh 
a difficulty, as McGammer put it, uh, earth and water is easy, fire is hard, or wi wait, wind is like super easy, um, earth is middle, fire is hard, and uh, with no water is like uh, basically Im almost impossible. I mean, I I'm sure you could do it, but you'd have to get a lot of items, and yeah, that would take forever to beat this game. But, uh, yeah, um, let's just say I took in the steps of McGammer, McGamer, and, uh, took, uh, went with his build because I like it, it's easy, and yeah, anyways, so we're gonna go down here, um, yes, here, the screen, see that, there's like 50% experience already for gaining a level in agility. Uh, agility is at 5 and defense is at 4 and the others haven't been uh, brought up in any experience or whatever yet. Yet. They won't be until battle. Um, there's message stuff and color whatever. Here's the map. I rarely ever look at the map because I'm not good with the map. And then here's the list of the uh, elements. Wind and water, earth and fire. And here's the experience for, e for uh, basically a level up. Once it gets to the top, it uh, allows you to get another spirit, so to uh, increase your element, whatever, again. Like, uh, like a level up, basically, leveling up your stats. And we need to go in this door with that sign out there and talk to this guy for some wings. He's going to give us white wings. Uh, he tells us any time it is important that... Oh, uh, okay, we can't use it in, but we have to use it in wide open spaces. We can't use it in caves or forests or whatever. We have to be in an open place to use it. And when we use those wings, we will go back to this town. Uh, the, the white wings, that is. There are many types of uh, colored wings in this thing. Each one bringing you to the town, you get them in. And then after you use the wings, you have to get the wings back afterwards. Anyways, uh, see this, Shannon? Hello, Master Apprentice. I'm Shannon. I've been traveling hither and yon. Yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, Shannon, you'll be seeing a lot of her in this game. Um, as you'll see later. Anyways, uh, the, the hotel is for you, or the inn, whatever, is for you to basically save your game. Whenever you sleep there, uh, you save your game. Um, of course, for some reason, this time through with the emulator, uh, the, the data, or it, it, it's not saving for me this time, so I'll only save once in a while, mostly just to get health and MP, like, fast. Like, after you've used, uh, MP, when you're walking around, it will, uh, slowly increase, as you'll see later. And, well, okay, wow, okay, the sheep says, bah. Yeah, bah. Sure, whatever. So the animals say their regular stuff. Um, in this house is a chest with a, um, what is it, um, just fresh bread, which is like 50 health, I think. Which, this game I will be using a lot of, unlike the last two times I've played this game. By the way, this game doesn't really take a long time. Um, the first time I played it, it took me 14 hours of gameplay to finish it, and the second time it, I played it, uh, like last week or something, it just took me 14 hours, uh, like, seriously, I, uh, started at, like, 12.15 p.m., and I ended by 12.15 a.m., like, midnight, from noon to midnight, so it's possible to finish this game in like 14 hours. Oh, sorry, sorry, um, uh, 2.15 a.m., sorry. Anyways, so yeah, 14 hours, easy, and I wasn't even playing the whole time, I had a few chores to do during that time, and yeah, so 30 minutes to an hour was not playing it, so yeah, um, 
here we are in the first battle. Uh, as you can see, these guys throw fire. And I'm using my rock element, which I've upgraded to three levels right now. And it takes them out in two hits. Um, these guys are kind of dangerous right now, actually. And uh, I guess they have a lot of agility. You'll, um, by the way, when after an enemy shoots, you have a... Um, a little amount of time to start running before it hits you. Which is pretty cool, you can dodge attacks and stuff. Um, uh, uh, yeah, so we're gonna be heading down this trail. Uh, for me, I like actually um, exploring everywhere. Even if I already know what's where, I still like to run, you know, like all around, off the trail and on the trail, keeping going and such. Um, run into more random battles which then uh, proves to have more um, experience for everything which then makes it the, bo the final boss easier yes um, I'm a little strange like that on RPGs I like to somewhat grind more than other people and I like bosses and games to be relatively easy not too hard not too easy Although, well, I don't know how easy, but whatever. Anyways, these rabbits are using a wind attack, and it's coming and hitting me. Um, as for how defense and health and magic, um, um, hey, look, I already leveled. How those uh, level up in a battle when you're hit by an enemy doesn't matter how much it takes out as long as it, you know hits you, like taking out one, um, or how much ever, it adds a little percent to both the health and the defense percentage for upgrading a uh, level for those things. So, um, if I'm hit like 50, 50 to 100 times or something, my health will raise up by one like yeah anyways and the fence will raise up by a few percent every hit although I have not actually done the math on this that's just an, a little um, example basically as for magic every time you use a spell uh, it in it brings up the percentage by a little for leveling up to have more magic and it will go up slowly um, quite slowly really is yeah, pretty much just like all of the stuff an agility in battle I think that when you're in battle and you run around you get more agility than if you just stand still and um, let's see what else um, let's see uh, oh, what was I gonna say um, yeah, I, I think the max you can get is like 5 or maybe it's 20. I, I don't really remember how much it was. It's been a while since I tried figuring all that out. But, yeah. Basically, just run around when you're in the battle for some more agility. And the more agility you get, the larger your circle will be for your movement. Like, the blue bar right here. Yeah, this octagon or whatever yeah octagon um, is your movement range and depending on how much agility you have depends on how big the range is for that and yeah I'm gonna level up earth to about like um, uh, 10 before I start building up water and you'll see why later oh dang it I missed the spirit I have to fight this first random battles dang it anyways the the spirits You'll, I believe uh, there are like 98 or 99 as the gamer said um, and I think I read the uh, um, well hold on I'll talk about this later see you guys next time